Cyclone Vernon has explosively intensified today and is now a Category 4 on the Saffir Simpson scale, having jumped 80 miles per hour in the last 24 hours. It is now located at 14.8 degrees south, 90.9 .9 degrees east, and is moving west. The storm has winds of 130 miles per hour, that's 210 kilometers per hour, in uh, 1 minute sustained winds, and a pressure of 950 millibars has been reported with the storm. It's moving west right now at 13 miles per hour. Looking at the CDPS rating for the storm currently, no CDPS rating is available because the storm is in the middle of absolutely nowhere in the Indian Ocean. However, it is a bit close to the Cocos Keeling Islands, which is receiving some minimal effects from the storm right now. Overall, no land threat over the next three days. So this is where the storm is located right now. You can see really in the middle of nowhere, uh, moving west right now. Uh, one minute sustained winds of 130 miles per hour. The Bureau of Meteorology giving us 10 minutes sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. That's category 4 on the Australian scale right now, which translates to 130 on the Upper Simpson. This storm right now is located 510 miles away from the Cocos Islands, 1,767 miles away from Rodrigues, 2028 from, Rod from uh, Perth, 2153 from Mauritius, and 2301 in Reunion, with most of those being in the far western portion of the basin near Madagascar. This storm won't go in that direction, but it will eventually do a loop with nearby Invest 93S, and then it will make a southward turn and will not be affecting any land areas at all. So looking at the uh, maximum sustained winds plot right now, you can see the Twin Typhoon Warning Center is running with a minimal category 3 right now, rather on the low side of things, um, with the ADT estimates uh, do climbing gradually, uh, mid-range category 3 on those right now, but we're running with 130 for the storm. Here's the latest Torn Typhoon Warning Center forecast cone going with a r extremely aggressive 130 knot peak at 150 miles per hour. Um, probably not going to get up towards that status given that uh, wind shear is on the rise due to an interaction with nearby Invent 93S. Uh, but certainly um, later on in the line, if it does survive the interaction and if conditions do get even more favorable than what they are right now, we could start to see a trend towards this peak density, but overall right now that remains on the unlikely side of things. Looking at sea surface temperatures right now for the storm, they are fairly warm under the storm, 28 to 29 degrees Celsius. Uh, they remain at that level for the next three to four days before it decreases as, as they normally do as a storm that goes further down towards south in the basin. But overall sea surface temperatures, not much of an issue for the storm. Looking at the HWRF wind field plot for this, you can see keeping it rather weak, they haven't really caught up on its current uh, peak intensity there, and the rainfall threat as well. Um, remaining far from many land masses over the next five days, which is a really good thing for this basin. So here's what we're looking at, the intensity plots here, they haven't really counted up with any of the uh, storm latest intensities guidance here, uh, but you can see the DWC forecast of 130 knot peak. Wind shear is forecast to be t hit or miss at points, but generally favorable for the next couple of days. Uh, Seas are temperatures, as I said, around 20 to 29 degrees Celsius. Those will be um, not up as you for uh, the next four days, uh, will decrease towards day five, and relative humidity overall pretty favorable. Uh, pretty pr pretty good track records as well for this storm. Uh, looking at the satellite imagery of the storm, look at it. I mean, it looks perfect here. Uh, you can just see that eye um, briefly popping out there, but those cloud tops have indeed warmed uh, in the past few hours uh, due to wind shear due to nearby Invest 93S, so might be some short-term weakening possible in the next couple of days or hours, I should say, as, it, as this interaction occurs here. Uh, looking at a more uh, visible picture here, sunrise just occurring over the storm, fantastic imagery here provided by Levi Count over at Topical Tidbits. Uh, we'll have more updates on the storm as it progresses westward over the next few days. Stay tuned for social media outlets.